There are lots of people on the earth. There are lots of plants on the earth. There are lots of animals on the earth. Each is different. Each is special. Life comes in all sizes and shapes. And in many different colors. We all begin quite small. And we all like to play. We need to take care of each other. While we are all different, we are all related because we are all part of one family, the family that lives here, on the earth. It's important we take care of the earth because we have a lot of wonderful things on the earth. We have trees and air that we can breathe and a lot of wonderful things that we need. And if we don't have any earth left, there's um, hardly anywhere to go. All living things depend on the Earth's air, soil, and water. We all breathe the air. We all stand on the Earth and rely on its soil. And we all use water. The Earth has all we need. Earth is surrounded by air. Animal and plants and people are all one family because when we all live in the earth, we breathe the same air. Well, basically, all animals need air. Trees, people, and animals all need clean air to grow up healthy and strong. It's fun to feel the air on your face and run when the air smells really good. Sometimes you can taste the breeze and listen to the wind. Clean air is, oh, so wonderful. But people can put things in the air that make it dirty. When the air is dirty, it's hard for us and trees to breathe. Scientists, though, are working to help the air. They are working to make our factories cleaner and they are finding new ways to make cars and trucks run cleaner. Many people are working to make a difference. Hello. Hi, we're with Tears and Tears, and we're here to help your trees. All over the country, people are getting together to help the environment by planting trees. We plant trees because they buffer noise and they're good for the environment. We've learned to work with people and we've learned that we need to help and that everybody's not just gonna get up and do it, that somebody needs to start it and um, try to get everybody else to do it. It's 
hard work to plant trees, so it makes you feel really good as soon as you're done and you know that the tree's going to help the environment. People are finding out that they can accomplish great things by working together. It's really nice when everybody cooperates and it's just a feeling that everybody's, you know, nobody arguing and you guys just put this wonderful thing in this ground and you guys can just sit and just watch it. It's nice to know that you can help the world, you know, just even though you're just one little person, but you can really make a difference. Trees can make a big difference. One reason we are planting trees is that trees help to clean the air. Trees are beautiful, and they are important. There are other things we can all do. We don't need to be driven everywhere. Many times we can walk or ride our bikes. Imagine the earth with clean air. Hold that picture in your heart. I need the water and the water needs me. Water from the clouds in the air falls to the earth as rain or snow. Streams carry it down to rivers and then down to the sea. As the water flows down its path, little bits rise back into the air. In the air, it forms clouds. It is a cycle that goes on and on, clouds to rain, stream to river, to sea, to clouds again. People, animals, and plants all need water. We can't live without water. <laughs> There is no better place to have fun than in the water. We need clean water because we need water to drink and water for fish to swim in. Lots of things live in the water. And it is nice to listen to. We can't swim here. Many plants can't live here. Many animals can't live here. And we won't drink this. The Earth knows how to renew itself, but it can only do so much. Sometimes we have to help. The river is important to me because it's a place to go to cool off in the summer. Like, um, you can't fish and swim in the river because it's, it's polluted. I want the river to be fixed. We are learning what it takes to clean up a river and how to test the water. It's important to know what we have in our water. How clean is our water? Uh, how polluted is it? What can we do to keep it clean? Um, how, you know, the more polluted our water is, the less useful it is for us. Samples of river water are taken back to school to discover what is in the water. If I can find out what's in the river, then I can let other people know, so they know about it. If we know what's in it, then we can learn and find out what we can do to stop it. With the information, we talk about what can be done to improve the water. We could go out and help clean up and clean up things around the river. Everybody can do their little part in exactly. taking, taking care of the river. One day, this river will be clean and wonderful again. We only have so much fresh, clean water. We can all watch how much fresh water we use. Use what you need. It is precious. 
Don't waste it. Water is wonderful. Let's take care of it. Imagine that all the water on the earth is clean and healthy. Hold that picture in your heart. The earth has many different kinds of soils. They are all important. It's pretty, and I like the sunset. And you can make sand castles, and it's just fun to play on. Some are fun to play in. The soil holds the plants and feeds them so they can grow. Many things live in the soil. Look at buildings. The wood comes from trees that grew in the soil. The bricks are made from clay that is found in the soil. Much of our food comes from the soil. The healthier the soil, the more things grow. And there is more food for all the people and animals on the earth. Many plants can't grow in unhealthy soil. Trees can't grow in unhealthy soil. It doesn't smell good. You can't play here. You wouldn't plant a garden here. And many animals don't want to live here. We are working to make things better. We should care about the environment because um, this is the place that people live, and it's not, it's people don't want to live around cans and newspapers and everything everywhere. We need to understand where trash comes from. We've got to keep our worlds clean right now for the future kids and stuff to have a nice world. We are learning to recycle, to use things more than once. Metal can be used again. Glass can be used again. And paper can be used again. We can separate things at home. Kids can set a good example for adults. And if the kids recycle, the new adults will see it. And they'll say, oh, that kid's pretty smart. I think I'll recycle, too. We can also collect things at school. You're never too young or old to recycle, and anybody can do it. If we don't recycle, tr the trash will start to pile up, and the earth will start to be polluted. I think one person can make a difference. We have to be careful about what we throw away and where, because you know there is no away. When you throw something out, it can only go somewhere else on the earth. It takes healthy soil to help things grow. Imagine that all the soil on the earth is healthy. Hold that picture in your heart. Air, water, and soil, all clean and healthy. 
Many people now really care. Do you? It's important to take care of the Earth because it's the only place we can live. Like, because there's nowhere else to live in this universe. Um, the whole world's just like a house because um, everybody, everybody lives in the whole world and we all got to keep it clean. We should love the Earth because we have to live in it and animals have to live in it and plants and trees. I wanted to have a lot of shells on the beach and I wanted to have big white sandy beaches and tall trees that my kids can play on. When I have a little girl, I'd like the earth to look green and pretty and the air to be clean. When I grow up, I want uh, everything to be just right, no polluting, no nothing. I want the world to be perfect.